So I'm preparing for another clock, wooden clock, but it's a beveled edge. So I just want the pour to be on the top. So I put a piece of tape over here and put foam inside, put a piece of tape to block it. And then I taped all around the edge. It's a lot of tape. I also taped the back so that hopefully this will stay clean. It's gonna be painted anyway, but hopefully this will save me some work later. A lot of taping, but I think in the end it's gonna pay off. Main thing is I want the most of the, the whole board to stay up here. And then on the bevel part, so it goes in like that. I'm gonna paint this one color and this another color. And I think it should be really sharp at the end. We'll see. Oh, we're gonna try a bloom, a bloom today in the middle of this wood round. I've taped it off. These are the colors I'm using. I think they're gorgeous colors. And we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. And I think I will um, bring it in a little closer. Okay, good. So you can see what's happening. I put a piece of tape over the hole of the, where the clock's gonna go so the paint doesn't go through there. Hopefully that's gonna work, that little piece of tape. And um, so the way you start a bloom is you start with like a target. And I don't want to pour it right here. So I'm going to just pour it right here. And I might make several of them actually. So I'm going to start with, um, hmm. I'm going to start with the red. Mm -hmm. And into that red, I'm going to put um, white and you just use tiny little bits with a bloom and put the yellow and I'm going to put the green into that Oops, a bit. Um, I'm going to put the purple And I'm going to put the dark blue. And I'm going to put the red again. Alrighty. And the white. I'm going to put the gold. Blue. Purple. Turquoise. Gold. I'm trying to use contrasting colors. Lights versus darks. Uh, I'm going to put the green. Because I love that green. And the white again. Okay. Now we just blow. Here we go. Nice thing is that it's on a wheel so I can spin it. Let's make it some nice cells.
I'm gonna wait a minute now and see what uh, what she brings up cell wise besides I'm getting a little bit dizzy from blowing <laughs> Now, it probably would have went out further if I had put some paint around it, but I could still put some paint around it. And I think I'm going to put gold around it. Just to let it start flowing into something wet. Here it's almost at the edge already. So, hopefully this will help it flow. Instead of flowing into dry wood. Okay. Maybe the gold underneath too, when it flows over it, will help it make some pearl cells. That'd be cool. Yeah. Definitely help it go over the side. And I'm not sure if I'm going to spin this or not, but it's not a spinning wheel, so I can spin it if I want to. I'd like this to come this way a little bit, I think. Edges are covered. Pretty gorgeous colors. And I think I'm going to tip it a little. See if I can get it to slide that way. this away. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, I finally broke loose. Okay, good. Just slowly. Get it pretty beautiful colors. This is going to be, I think, a really pretty clock. And let it go up to the top there. Let's let it do some rotations. I'm hoping we get some lacing. I'm liking the color a lot so far. I hope you can see it. Alright, I'm just going to lay it down here. I don't think I'm going to spin this. think so. Now the thing I've got to make sure right now is it's 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 level because it's, it's uh, it was moved. Let's see uh, let's hit it with the gun the torch and see if we can uh, instigate it bringing up some more cells. doing it. The way that's coming over the edge, I'm almost sorry I taped it off, but I think in the end that's going to be a good idea. Just have in the middle. Gorgeous. Concentrating with just the... Hmm. Hmm. Beautiful color combination. I always love green and purple. The little edge here is not covered, so I'm going to turn it a little bit and blow so it's covered. really pretty. I think the 
it's really going to be a beautiful clock. And I'm hoping I get some more lacing and um, I'm glad I put the gold around the edge instead of white. I think the combination looks really gorgeous. And I like that it's not dripping off too much off any edge. Which means it's level. That means it will be level. That's what I have to keep an eye on. That I purposely tilted, so yes, there's going to be a lot of paint dripping off there. Some beautiful stuff happening in here. I'll, I'll bring it in for you. And I think I'm going to call that a done. I like it a lot. I'll bring it in for you. I think that's going to be a gorgeous clock. And, you know, as it sits here, it will make more and more cells. So, I'm, I will hit it with the gun again. Gorgeous. Like I said, it's taped off the edges, so it's going to be... Your center of attention is going to be right here, right, right in the middle of the clock. And I'm, I'm glad I did that. And actually, I like this color a lot of the tape, so I might make the edge that color. Or something else like that. Purple, maybe. Get a little purple to it. I don't know. Black would be too harsh. But, um, anyway, I really like all the nuances happening in here. This clock needs to dry, of course, and then it will get the clockworks put in the center. It will get two, co two coats of Liquitex varnish, gloss medium, and varnish. It will not have numbers on it. I haven't decided if I'm going to put any gems because it's got so many beautiful things happening in it. I'm not sure if I want to distract. Alrighty. That was quick. And that's the third, no, fourth clock I think I've done. This one's beveled. So if you think you might be interested in this clock when it's all finished and dry, email PreacherLD at awol.com it will be a hundred dollars thanks and that would include tax and shipping okay so you, you've come in for the close-up i'm going to just let it sit another 10 minutes i think this clock is i'm not going to do anything else to it i'm not going to spin it i really like it the way it is spinning it would make some things grow but it would knock some things off that i really like and i don't want to do that I like what's going on. I love the gold. The gold is just very shimmery, the 24 karat gold. So um, I'm going to hit it with the gun again. See if we get this white is really beautiful. What's happening there with the white? Great contrast. The gold is very shimmery. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's happening. Not a whole lot of cells, but I like the combination of colors and the lacing and interaction. I like the composition. So, we're just going to leave this baby alone to dry. I don't think I'm going to spin it. Nope. Tempted to. But I know with the spinning, it's going to um, change it a lot. And I don't know if I want to do that. I might spin it once. 
I'm not sure if I want to do that. I'm covering up my paint while I'm thinking about it. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. I spun it once, it might ruin it. Or it might make things grow that are, that will be fantastic to grow. But you know something? If you really love something already, why fool around with it? So, I think as I'm covering things up, I've decided this looks pretty awesome just the way it is. I even love the gold that I put around the outside. Yeah, really do. So I think I'm gonna call this a wrap. Shut the camera off. Thanks guys. Happy painting, happy painting. Okay, well, that one is, I'm pondering spinning it. I made up these little uh, tiles that I'm gonna blow. So let's see. Gorgeous colors. Let's see how they come out blown. All right. Let's put the camera over here. Okay, tilt it down a little. Let's see how these babies blow. This is gonna be fun. colors from my clock and I do it over gorgeous should have done these first okay keep going okay I gotta turn it Wow, that metallic purple is wow! Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I did clock over some parts of it anyway. Yeah, I'm loving the uh, combinations of stuff going on here. Okay, last one and get over to it. That white is very thick. Dynamite. Oh my heavens. So this is called a bloom technique.
You can use a straw too. Wow, gorgeous. Can't move that over that white, it's very thick. Let's see if we can move this over it. Oh, that's better. Just get rid of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. I haven't even torched yet. <laughs> I need to get rid of this um, white blob up here. A little too strong. Oh, that's pretty. They're all pretty. I love them. Okay. Definitely bring the clock over. Okay, I like this the stronger colors. Wow. Makey dokey. I should have done this first. Okay. Alright. There we go. I'm going to start over. I mean, this is pretty. It is pretty. But it's, it hasn't got the punch that this has. Let me just show you what I mean by the punch. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my goodness. These will be coasters and I'll epoxy them. They will be gorgeous. Okay, so you see the difference? This one's missing that pow. So we're going to do, do something to it. All right, let's put the camera back over here. Wish I had done the coasters first. And I liked this. I do still like it a lot. But I am going to definitely change some things up a bit. Say, so can you do that? Yeah. It's still wet, so. Let's see if I move this so it'll tilt a little bit. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's see what happens. I mean, it is beautiful, but I do like a little more punch. I might have to stop it and make some more of the green, but let's see. I started with the green in that one. I need the whole thing because it's a lot of bigger canvas I'm working with than the coasters. Coasters are a great thing to work with if you want to start with blooms and try them out. You're not working with a whole lot of canvas. Okay. So then I added the red. Mm -hmm. And they just keep getting better and better as I'm looking at them. Looking at them, they're getting better and better. Be lazy. I probably should be making. Well, I got more red actually. Let me get some more. I think the big thing was with the coasters was I added Payne's gray in, and that uh, that definitely did something. And so I am going to use the Payne's Gray. Oop, not, not with the yellow. I'll put the white first. Mm -hmm. This white is super thick. It's almost too thick. I'm going to 
of the white that's not as thick. Put a little bit of that in the middle. Okay. Now, I'm going to put Payne's Gray. That's what I think is going to add the punch. Metallic brown. Okay. And purple. Purple was still, and I kind of like went like kind of like this on those. I wasn't afraid to. it up a little. I'm going to add a little bit of glue, which I didn't do on those. White again. And here. Yeah. Add more of this grain. Too lazy to mix it up. I think I have to make up more grain, yeah. I think I definitely do because I really love the grain. So I'll be right back. Right back, guys. All right, guys. So as you can see, I added some things. side here which means this is a low a low spot. I don't want low spots. Let's put this here. Okay. I'm gonna blow. I'm liking the drama. Yes indeed. Woohoo, that blew all over the place. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Now we're getting some drama. Yeah. Now we're getting some drama. And we're getting a lot more cells, too. I don't want to erase everything from before. Might give her a spin too. I really like the bottom here. And by rolling it around a little, it's bringing up some cells and lacing. Wow. Okay. This is gorgeous. Now the other one was nice, but this is boom. And I really wanted the boom. Wanted the boom. The boom. Okay, I'm just going for composition now. Now, I have to decide, oh my goodness. This is so, such a better, better pour. Bloom, yeah, such a better. So, uh, oh wow, things are popping up better. Wasn't doing it before. I don't know why, maybe just by adding the paints gray, I'm not sure. But this is um, exciting, exciting. This is exciting, that was just nice. This is exciting. And, um, yeah, the little coasters taught me something. They sure did. Might want a little of that black to grow some more. But I really love what's happening here. So far, I don't see anything going up the sides too badly. I'm contemplating spinning it. But I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. 
what's happening, so I might not spin it. It'll spin some of this off, and that's what, I don't think I want that to happen. I want this to grow a little, so I'm going to just push it over this way a little bit more. Plus, moving it around gently like this still makes the cells keep coming up. It stimulates the paint. So I'm just making circles without it having to necessarily have to go off the sides. Okay. What I really want to watch out for is things don't start sliding off. Yeah, it was a clock. I have to decide the direction, and it will be a clock. Hmm, it's pretty cool this way. Yeah, this looks pretty cool this way. I want this black to grow a little bit more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Just gonna make sure she's level. I see it's sliding off this side too much. Gorgeous. It really, it looks like um, a garden. With lots of little bugs and trees and leaves. It's beautiful. Okay. Um, I'll bring it in for a close-up. First, I'm going to give it a shot with the gun. Very, very mysterious. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one cell there is just incredible. Beautiful lacing in here, which looks like leaves. Very gardenish. Definitely a garden lover's clock. Okay, let me see. Woohoo! What you think? I think it's a big improvement over the the last pour. The last pour was pretty, but it didn't have the the punch I think this one does. So I'll show you the saucers again, the tiles. I think you'll have to agree. It's very organic, very gardenish. Lots of very cool stuff happening right in here. Oh, I'm loving this so much more. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I love that. Ooh, really cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, look at that cell. Oh my goodness. Dynamite. And I'll show you the um, little coasters again. Wowie. Super. Yeah, that's be a great set with the clock. The colors are very much the same. I might sell it as a set. Four coasters and a clock. What do you think? Wow. Very, very dramatic. Okie dokie. So there we go back to the clock and that will be it I think for it. I don't think I'm going to spin it. I like it a lot. 
If I do spin it, uh, it would only to be make me maybe this grow. But this white is growing in here even as we speak. So I'm not going to touch this for like, there's a bird, there's a cardinal right up in here. Oh, cool. Cardinal. So, um, I'm going to leave this alone for a good, look at the cells are just amazing. For uh, 10 minutes, come back and see, take a photo, couple of photographs for you. Okay, I'll be back. I'm fooling with it still. I love this side, I love that, I love that. I just need a little bit more going on. Something going on over here. Just a little bit more on. A little bit more going on. Yeah, I really like a little bit of yellow going on too. So, I still want that green. I don't want to lose the green. Okay. So we want that purple. Just a wee bit. Nice. And a little bit more of that yellow. Whoops, cover on. Okay. And I do want a little bit of more of this tan color. And hmm, a little bit more of the red. Let's spread it around a little bit. Okay, very good. It's beautiful. I don't want to lose this. I do, I do. Can't go crazy. Okay, are we going to blow white in the center? Yeah, I guess so. Plenty of green still, no problem. Okay, and we're going to put a little bit of black in the center. This is Payne's gray, actually. Whoa, I love it. I love that. Okay, we're gonna blow. Mm -hmm. We're gonna turn it. Try not to get rid of this. Oh wow, oh yeah, we got some drama with that red in there. Oh yeah. Hoping to have a little more red in it. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, don't want to get rid of everything behind. Don't want to get rid of this, that's for sure. This is gorgeous. Incorporating it in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Managing to save that. This is gorgeous. This is so much better. I love the green, but it was just too much. This is still very organic. A lot of more beautiful cells coming up. A 
lot more beautiful cells coming up. And I'm just a little afraid. Wow, so much better. That's better. Mm -hmm. Leave that red in there. Sometimes the color is right below the surface and you have to blow to get it up. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Not gonna move. Okay, that's all right. That's really cool. That's really cool. Look at that purple coming up in there. Ah. Okay, I you know sometimes I just have to fly by the seat of my pants and take that other another chance. I mean I love the green. I love all that organic. But I, I liked so much more these colors that have, the purples come up more, the, um, the yellows in there now, the, um, the green is still there, which I wanted, the more Payne's gray, which is more dramatic. This, oh, I'm gonna have to bring it in for close up, guys. This is so much better. Ah, woo, wee. Happy, happy, happy. And I haven't torched it yet. Um, give it a few minutes before I torch it, okay? Took me a long video because <laughs> this was done in sections. I take in for a close up on this, and it still will go with those coasters, by the way, because the colors are still the same. So, oh my goodness, so much wonderfulness happening here. Got a butterfly here, or moth. Let's see how she dries. Oh, so many more fantastic nuances and cells and just gorgeous color. Still very gardeny, very organic. Oh yeah. And this beautiful red and purples and green section down here is so much better than it was. And this is going to probably still continue to grow and develop. I'm happy. Oh, I love my moth. Mm, this purple is just so fantastic, this metallic purple. Wow. Well, I'm glad I went back in again. And I did manage to save this section that I really loved. What you think? Think it's better? I think it's better.